Chayapum province. A total of 56 fights, 40 victories, 15 losses and one draw. There you can see the tail of the tape for this one. Tong Ch sorry, not China Chai returns to Thai fight. I mean, if what a up and down, more down if I'm being honest. Start his had to his Thai fight league career. I mean, his first fight, he looked absolutely spectacular. And then he got thrust onto the main roster, the big Thai fight. But unfortunately for him, he lost by a knockout. Then he came back to Thai Fight League, and once again, even though he looked fantastic, he got knocked out again. It's the most unfortunate fighter I think we have I on know. the show. He has got big talent, but question marks regarding his chin. It's very unfortunate for him. He's a man with a lot of talent. He can throw a flying knee out of nowhere. One yeah. fight, he connected with three flying knees to the face, yeah. and then gets knocked out. I, I, I don't know anyone else in the world who has ever achieved that before. <laughs> Left hooks to the body there by the man, Chana Chai. Yeah, I mean, attacks just like that. Absolutely, so aggressive and so on point as well with the majority of, it, of his strikes. But unfortunately, his defense yeah. has a lot of question marks, as you said earlier. And of course, indeed, his chin, which you can't do anything about. You're born with it or you're not. And then, Ever since he was knocked out on the big tie fight, I believe that was in um, right, Bangladesh. Yeah. Everyone's been attacking his body. They just assume <laughs> that's that's where the weak spot is, and it works. Oh, up kick there from Chanachai. Yeah, extremely skillful, Chanachai. So you're looking for that big left elbow, trying to end this one early. Seems on on the other hand, though. He's oh. still trying to leave a mark here on Thai Fight League. He's been given opportunities, but I don't think he's achieved what he's wanted to just yet. But what a good victory it would be for him to beat Chana Chai here tonight. See Chana Chai, laser focus. Good right kick though by Sip Song Pana. Oh, Chana Chai jumping, switch kick, attempted. Trying to dig into his inner Sanchai there. Yeah. Not gonna work this time though. Big hand by Sipsopana, just missing. Good evasion from Chanachai. And again, attacking the body of Chanachai. Yeah. There's that elbow attempt. But he's found that, what, three or four times in this round and I think he's missed with every single one. I think I heard um, one of the audience members just now just yell out, watch out for the flying knees, watch out for the flying knees. Seems there from Chana Chai. Well, someone's been doing their homework. Big right hand there from Sit Song Pana. <laughs> Referee Arun Kabachan urging them to fight. End of round number one. Stay with us, round two. Up next. <laughs> See highlights from round number one. Shana Chai is bringing out a lot of techniques, but the question is, how many of those techniques did he actually catch Sip Song Pana with? And in reply, Sip Song Pana, well, he threw a few right hands that I actually do think connected. I think the majority of the people watching around the world. Are saying that they think that Chanachai did enough to win that round. I'm not so sure, to be honest, Kevin. Yeah, it was a pretty close round, though, I must say. More attacks, of course, from Chanachai, but Sison Pidong, he has to start working more, just like he's doing right now. Good knee to the midsection there, but almost lost his footing. Referee saying, you only got to take two steps when you're holding onto the leg. There's a flying knee that the audience member was worrying and warning to Sison Pidong about. That's a good flying knee again. I'm not sure how someone has made that their specialty. <laughs> but as we said, I mean, Chanachai, fighter with a lot of potential, just needs to work on that defensive chin. Absolutely. Let's not forget those sips on when I did compete on Thai Fight League number 29, a knockout victory over Kong Grim Prom. So confidence high. 
he does have that knockout power. Something Chana Chai needs to be wary about. We saw how he evaded all the attacks from Chana Chai just now. Or from Sipson Pinok. Not Sipson Pinok. <laughs> Sipson Pana. That is a mistake you've made as well, Aaron. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Yet another midsection shot from Chanachai. I think Chanachai is doing a very good job in this round. He is, but is he really worrying Sipson Pana? That's the question. I gotta say, though, Sipson Pana has slowed down at the, mo <laughs> at the moment. I think at this time he really needs to start moving forward. Left hook, right kick there from Sipson Pana. Like we talk about Chanachai. He's an orthodox, he does throw different techniques throughout each individual round. Not easy to prepare for someone like Chana Chai. However, if you do, like we talked about, connect with one big punch, one big kick, it can be all over like we've seen in the past. Uh, once again, looking for that flying knee. But what's worrying right now is that Sissopana, he's slowed down drastically. Not defending many shots, not throwing many shots either. Side kick there from Chai Chai. Looking for a left elbow there as he moved in. He might have just connected with it as well. Yeah, you can see there's a Sompa now trying to go for that one big shot, try, trying to go for the body of Chana Chai once again. That was unsuccessful, but that shot from Chana Chai, that was very successful. More activity, more connections from Chana Chai. He might have just hit. And uh, there you can see highlights from round number two. I think a little bit of a frustrating round for Sipson Pana. He was just overwhelmed by the activity of Chanachai in that round. He was actually connecting with more techniques, being as fluid as we saw him in round number one as well. But like I said, causing more damage. He probably did take it in the eyes of the judges, I would assume. And Sipson Pana, he slowed down drastically. He did. And I feel like, I don't know if he was tired or just getting frustrated with the, with the. Yeah, but either way, we now move into the third and final round. You can see the advice being given to Sip Sompana. I think it might be a situation where Sip Sompana may need a knockout or a knockdown. All right, like, well. Let's see if he can do it. Third and final round. Chana Chai. Cho. Chana. Boy. Thai. From. Uh, representing the central part of Thailand and Sip Song Pana representing the east. Good left kick to the body there from Chana Chai. But more aggression, as you can see, by Sip Song Pana. Yeah, he needs to keep that aggression. Not let it go away. And of course, keep his focus. As we know, a flying knee can come out of nowhere. <laughs> Big I think we there. know that, and I also think that Sip Song Bana is very aware of that as well. Good right kick to the body there by Sip Song Bana. Yeah, there was one flying knee thrown in the first round, another one thrown in the second. Let's see if we'll get a third one here. I have to say though, even though I do talk about the activity of Chanachai, there is more like, apprehension, but he knows, I think he knows that he's susceptible to getting on time. So there is an air of caution behind what he's doing as well. I feel like he's going to have to produce continually as he moves forward in this tournament and indeed in his career. Yeah, I mean, when you're in a fight, you can't do anything 50%. Everything's going to be 100%. You see, Chana Chai keeping his hands high. Which we haven't seen a lot of times, to be no. honest, throughout his career here on Thai Fight. Good left hook there, though, from Six Opana. Yeah, he's looking for that one big strike. I feel like Chanachai is defending much better than we've seen in the past. Yeah, he's on full defense mode at the moment, just waiting for his opponent to come first. He thinks he's done enough in the first and the second round already. Oh, left hand there from Sitsong Pana. Left kick on the outside by Chanachai. Chanachai now on the ropes. 
Big knee to the midsection there from Sitsa Kara. See the corner of Six on Bano, which includes a gentleman just stood right behind me, <laughs> screaming instructions for him to push forward and be more aggressive. It might be working. It might be. Just needs to put more boxing combinations together. Throw them fast. Sets a left elbow there from Chanachai. It's been all, if I'm being honest, it's been all Six on Bano in this round. Yeah, the first round we could say was kind of close. Chanachai maybe making a facial mistake here. Well, there you have it. Chanachai finally hits the final bell for the first time in his career here on Thai. Oh, fight. So Question rate remains so will he get his hand raised? Oh, will indeed. It goes to Sit Song Bana. <laughs>